So today let's take a look at how you can use crossplay to automatically expand the disk space of a VM when it runs out. So let's just start over from the Prism Central. And the first thing we need to do in this workflow is we need to be able to detect when the disk usage is actually running out on a VM. So I'm going to head over to the alerts page. I'm going to open up alert policies. I'm going to create a new alert policy. Uh, we would like to select VM. And for this demo, I'm just going to be selecting one VM, but you do have the option to kind of select all VMs or all VMs in a category or in a cluster. And I'm going to pick my VM. And now I want to select the disk usage metric. Now this metric was introduced in the 5.17 release, and it does require that uh, your prism element is also on 5.17 or greater. And so we can see here that my disk usage is at a pretty constant 16.3%, but I actually care, say my disk usage goes above 90% is where I'll set my critical threshold. So now we're a long way from that, but if my disk usage were to exceed 90%, it'll go ahead and trigger this alert policy. So now I can go ahead and save my alert policy, and we can go ahead and set up the playbook. So we'll go over to Operations and Playbooks, we're going to create a new playbook using the alert trigger. So I'm going to type in my disk usage. And we can see there's the policy I just created. So now when the disk usage alert is detected, it'll actually go ahead and trigger this workflow. So the next thing I want to do is add some actions. Um, I'm going to want to go ahead and I have the option to add a new disk, but for this case, I'd like to go ahead and just expand the existing disk. And I do know for this specific VM, um, I do only have one disk. So I'm gonna just expand it by one gigabyte, with a maximum of 25. And say I had more than one disk, I would have the ability to select the bus type and what index that disk is at. but I'm just going to go ahead and select the most used disk, which for me is just one disk. So that'll add it to the right one. And then I'm going to want to go ahead and send out a message to let um, everybody know that this disk was increased. So I'm just going to quickly fill in the details here and I'm going to paste a message, but the way that you can fill this in yourself is by using these parameter values, such as the resultant disk size. And now we can go ahead and actually save this playbook and give it a name. And now we can enable this and save it. And now we're ready to go ahead and run it. So let's just go over here real quickly. And I'm just going to go ahead and simulate this alert. And now we can go over to the alerts tab to make sure that alert got generated. And sure enough, we can see it right here. So now let's actually go ahead and take a look at what happened at, in that playbook. So we can switch back over to playbooks. And we're going to go open the details of that playbook that we created. And let's switch over to the plays tab. And we can see that it ran and succeeded. And we kind of get a glimpse here of the details. We can see the alert that was triggered. The We can see the inputs and the outputs. Um, and we can see that the disk was actually expanded to 22 gigabytes here. And that that Slack message was sent. And now let's just switch over to Slack real quickly so we can ensure that that message was actually sent. And look, there you see it. That message was sent, and it looks like my VM disk has been successfully expanded. So, thanks for watching.